It is somewhat ironic that Acacia Park is named after a tree, since most of the trees in this park are dying. Most of the, uh, the, the landscape trees in Southern California are infested right now and then it's spreading. The culprit? These invasive beetles from Southeast Asia. Scientists aren't sure how they got here. One guess? From the packing materials of products shipped to California from Asia. Once here, they've been doing plenty of damage. It takes about one to two years or, or maximum three years they can kill the plant. Close to 40 species of trees are susceptible to damage by these beetles, including the avocado tree. Which is a very important industry in California. So a lot of people are making money. Their job is depend on, on, on that one. The beetle, the polyphaga shot hole borer, drills holes into a critical part of the tree, disrupting the flow of water from the roots to the leaves. It also carries a fungus in its yeah. mouth that harms the trees. The fungus grows and further clogs the vessels that carry nutrients and water to the tree, eventually starving it to death. Entomologists have been trying different treatments to kill the beetles and the fungus, but it was time consuming and difficult to learn if the treatments worked until this device, a 3D printed bug trap, was developed to place over the holes in the trees. We um, catch the sawdust and the fresh, the, the beetle poop as it were, and so then we know if the beetle is active in there. If the beetle is still active, that means the pesticide is not working. Scientists say a 3D printed trap like this speeds up the data collection process and makes the results reliable. The 3D printer allows researchers to easily tailor their traps to the insects they are studying. What the 3D printer allows us to do is to prototype um, new designs extremely rapidly uh, and to create those designs um, not only uh, for prototype testing, but as uh, you, with, with this particular printer, we've been able to print off hundreds, uh, probably approaching a thousand now, of the designs that we have. And it's not just this lab that benefits from 3D printers. It's going to be a, a very common thing to have in labs because often you need something specialized and, um, and you know, once you have the ability to program these things, then you can, um, you can make it. It's a relatively inexpensive tool that can create new possibilities for researchers to help them get results. Yeah. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Riverside. We would normally put on the end of one of our traps, uh, we put a screw 